And our first main topic today gets submitted to us by Zhao Edits, who writes, Hey, John. Deadline reported that a live-action American-born Chinese series is in the works at Disney+, Plus, with Dustin Daniel Creighton, who of course just directed Shang-Chi, set to direct. It follows a teenager juggling high school life with his immigrant home life whilst becoming entangled in a battle with Chinese mythological gods. I mean, all of us had that experience in high school. John, I don't know about you, but this sounds awesome to me. With Daniel directing, brah, bring it on thoughts. All right. Thanks a lot for sending that in, man. And of course, what he was able to do, what Destin Daniel was able to do with, with Shang-Chi, to me was nothing short of remarkable. You know, Shang-Chi is one of the most entertaining films I've seen in a while. I love the action. I love the movie. I saw it seven times in theaters. I still might try to squeeze in an eighth screening. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But apparently this is based on a graphic novel, Rob, that I'm not aware of. I, I've never even heard of this graphic I don't know novel. That not, I don't know it either. Yeah, and so I was kind of surprised to hear that. It made me tempted to go out and check it out. This comes to us from the folks over at Deadline who write, written and executive produced by Bob's Burgers executive producer Kevin Yu, or Kelvin Yu, and his brother Charles Yu of Westworld. The series is executive produced by Melvin Marr and Jake Kasdan, of course, you know, of the Kasdan legacy. Uh, Ash, Asher Goldstein, Just Mercy, and Gene Wen Yang are also executive producers. Kelvin Yu serves as showrunner on the series, which will start casting soon. And of course, Destin is going to be directing that thing. And as he pointed out, it's about this Chinese kid with his family, an immigrant family. He's going to a high school like a normal kid, but he's also having to battle mythological Chinese gods, which to me sounds out of this world. Now, look. Um, I am not the biggest fan of Bob's Burgers, I, but I haven't really watched a lot of it. I've only seen like maybe three episodes in my entire life, and I thought it was okay. I didn't think it was super hilarious or anything, but oh my God, Rob, my brother-in-law, Ray, who does our graphics, Ray loves Bob's Burgers. Like he's <laughs> he's like, he's completely, completely loves that show with an insane passion. I know it's very popular and a lot of people do too. So I think it's an interesting thing that that showrunner is going to come over and do the show running of this. Uh, Rob, I got to tell you, having never heard of the graphic novel, just reading this, I'd be lying to you if I didn't tell you I was extremely interested. This sounds like it could be a lot of fun. Sign me up. Sounds good. Rob, you hear about this. What's your impressions of it? What's not to love? <laughs> you, know, you know, I mean, uh, having loved Chinese fantasy filmmaking most of my life, um, I've always I've always been interested in seeing something like this, and it sounds good to me, especially with our current technology. Yeah, I think something like that could be great. And uh, our friend coming off the well, our friend we don't know him. Maybe you know him. I don't know him. But in terms of directing Shang Chi, I thought he knocked it out of the park. And uh, it sounds like he's a, a natural fit. So. I'll watch this show. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think of the fit of it being, you know, on on Disney Plus? Do you think that's a good fit for something like this, or would this be something better that would for something like a Hulu or something like that? Well, I mean, no, it really depends on the tone. I I, I think that that um, the obviously he got the job because of the work he did on Shang Chi, and I would think that uh, it would be a good fit. I mean, look, I think Disney Plus at some point is going to have a it, it's got to have a bit of a harder edge to it. I mean, Marvel's as hard edged as it gets, you know, unless you're going into that dark place where Logan must exist on the surface somewhere. <laughs> but I mean, they're going to have to, they're going to have to make it um, a little bit more harder edged and maybe they can do something like that with this. Although, you know, if you lean heavily into the fantasy aspects of it, I could see it working on Disney plus quite well. All right. Question is for you guys. What do you think about the sounds of American-born Chinese? I know nothing about it. When I look at the people involved, I read the synopsis of it. I'd be lying if I didn't say I'm super interested. What about you guys? Does this thing catch your attention? Are you interested? Maybe you are. Maybe you aren't. Whatever you guys are feeling, jump down to the comment section below and leave us your thoughts.